well, you've changed. <laughs> um, you've changed a lot. No, no, no. Oh, the, it was an awful experience. She had me physically gagging. Stay away from the audiobook. Uh, hi, hey, hello. Uh, my name is Shelly and uh, welcome. So today I am going to talk about part two of my little project audiobook. Um, yeah, I uh, read or, you know, listened to some more audiobooks this month. Um, so before I get into the actual audiobook of what I thought of the actual audiobook, rather, um, <laughs> the books I listened to were the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. So there are four books in this series. So there's Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence and Finale. Um, I've, I've read these books several times before, so it's not like it's new territory or anything. Um, but it's been a while. I mean, I remember how toxic uh, the relationship in it is. Uh, it's it's not like it's it's not like relationship goals. No, no, no. Uh, but it's it's one of those books or series rather that um, it's it's kind of you you love to hate it and you hate to love it kind of a book uh, series. For some reason, I've not written down which the name of the narrator, but it was the same narrator for the whole series, except for like a little, little part in, I think it was in Silence, the third book, where all of a sudden it started off with a man's voice and it was like, this audiobook is read by so-and-so and I'm like, well, you've changed. <laughs> um, you've changed a lot since the the previous book um so it was it was female narrator i don't remember her name it, it's it, it doesn't actually matter but uh the narrator such a terrible narrator maybe it's a good thing i'm not mentioning her name because <laughs> ooh <laughs> so she was very slow and robotic sounding in her narration and I mean I, I started off listening at one time speed and then I sped it up until two times speed because that was the highest I could go uh it, it, it didn't matter which speed I was on she was slow and robotic sounding throughout <laughs> so I mean not the best for getting a good story told to you. Um, she was also terrible, terrible at accents. She was like, it was like, I, I was just like, no, no, stop doing accents. Just, just speak normally. And whenever she were doing like male, female type of tone in the, it, oh no, 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 no. Oh, the, it was an awful experience. It was so so bad. And I mean, the story in itself is already so toxic and so cringeworthy that the narration, oh my god, it made it all so much worse. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she had me physically gagging at several points throughout the whole series and I was like no I mean I, I already know how cringe and toxic it is I mean the 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 writing in it isn't the best uh but it was still when I was reading it physically it was still like it was it was doable it was enjoyable in in a certain way uh but Oh no. <sighs> I did have a like revelation of the story. Um 
I might have had before, but I, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually read this series, so I, I don't know if I even thought about it much before. But so the story is about Nora. She's the main character. We follow along her her path, basically, um, and her boyfriend or love interest is Patch, and I mean, he's like so toxic. Uh, it's like, it, uh, don't go after this boy, you do not need him in your life. Um, so, I mean, I mean, he's new, he comes in new as a new character in her life, uh, but a character um, that's been in her life, her whole life, is her best friend, V. I mean, I think she might be even worse than Patch. Jeez! <laughs> so, like, in the first book, uh, she's all about, like, she has... She, she has a certain diet. I mean, she thinks she's fat, so she needs to have a diet to lose weight. And so she does all the wrong things uh, when you want to lose weight, um, which you basically starve yourself. That's, you, you do not do that. That's terrible. Uh, that's basically what this character is promoting. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I'd forgotten about that, like, to be honest. I, I mean, she doesn't feel like an important character, important enough character to remember in that way. Uh, and I mean, as the story progresses and it sort of comes to a conclusion, um, she's not the, the best friend V, she's not in it so much, but she's not, she's not a good friend to Nora in any way. Uh, and it, as the story progresses, she just gets worse. <laughs> She's also incredibly stupid. So, so stupid. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, how have I forgotten about all this? But I mean, it's not like important stuff to remember uh, about anything, any book or anything like that. But it was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, Oliver says it all. Is it a book series? Uh, is it a series that I will reread? Quite possibly, but in the physical sense, unless there's a another narrator that is so much better than this person because oh my goodness that was terrible that was a terrible terrible experience I i'm glad it was short because <laughs> oh damn <laughs> i um i mean i don't recommend this series anyway i mean if you if you want to read it you should read it but it's it's so toxic. It's 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 one of those things that as a young teen you will read and you will like look up to this to be like the perfect relationship and it's it's so terrible. It's the it's the kind of relationships you should be avoiding in life, uh not going head on into. Uh but I mean the series in itself is fairly enjoyable it's so easy to read so i mean if you want to read it you should it's um i mean i haven't actually mentioned it but because i'm kind of just assuming everybody knows what everything's about but uh it's the the series is about fallen angels and stuff that's basically the gist of it i think it's one of those series that um, is compared to Twilight, so it's like Twilight but with Fallen Angels, which basically, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend you stay away from the audiobook because <laughs> that was terrible. That was so bad.
definitely not worth your time, but for my little project, it was not that many hours spent. <laughs> And I was doing other things while I was listening to it. So, I mean, I did get things done. Stay away from the audiobook. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, um, this has been my, like, part two of this little series that I'm trying to do. Um, it's still weird. It's so weird to listen to books for me. I mean, I did as a kid when I was sort of like progressing from like picture books into more like more text-based books. I did sometimes listen to the audiobook in the library, in the school library while I was reading said book. Uh, but that was more to like learn how to pronounce some words that I did not know about at the age of six <laughs> five six something like that the whole audiobook thing is an experience uh <laughs> i don't know where it will take me but um i'm having fun with it so far i mean this was not a great choice but you know it's gonna be ups there's gonna be downs uh we shall see what else i find basically uh i'm sort of going with the uh i've read this book or series um many times before or you know once before that will do as well and, and now i'm gonna listen to it on audiobook um so it kind of depends on what i find really <laughs> Oh my goodness. But that's going to be it for this little uh, segment of this series or whatever we're calling it. It's, this is it for this today's video. Let's say that. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Have you read this series? Have you listened to this series? Um, what did you think? Please let me know. Let's, let's, let's trash it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Uh, take care. Uh, bye bye.